against the champions of the season before. Paris Saint-Germain up against Lille, a fixture which always conjures up the most mouth-watering of prospects. And when you see where the two of them are, a one o'clock kickoff in France, 12 o'clock UK time, it is the perfect way to start your Sunday. Mouth-watering prospect this promises to be. Ends for that sorry display. All those months ago. For the champions, three defeats in three different competitions. They've exited the Coupe de France. Or in Balogun. So all in white, the champions from two years ago try to get some of the last couple of weeks. But uh, they might be even more shocked here because there is an early chance and almost an early goal. Donnarumma made the save. There was a deflection off Kimpembe on the way through. Otherwise, that might have ended in the back of the net. Just to be the last time that Paris Saint-Germain lost in the league here at the Pastures. Which do seem fascinating because they next face Marseille. Now, here's Mbappe. It's a good ball as well. And Neymar's shot was charged down. The flag has stayed down. And that was a good save by Chevalier. He's expecting the flag to go up, but Messi is ruled to be onside. Let's have a look. It looked fairly tight. Well, I think he probably was offside. Well, hope in the last five matches on the road. Oh, that a terrible back pass. Goodness me, did he not see that there was a player behind him? An experienced player like Presnel Kimbembe, why didn't he see that Jonathan David was between him and Donnarumma? As this ball pops up to be headed backwards, he must surely have seen... She got away with it, now they're looking to get Mbappe through here. He's looking up all the time, then goes alone in the gap and scores! That is what he's all about! back after injury and back doing what he does best he had two defenders in front of him but he wiggled between the two and found the finish as well 26 goals now for the season his 14th in Liga and after the two saves that Donnarumma's made at one end it is Mbappe that gives Paris Saint-Germain the lead here couple of step overs in between the two defenders wriggling clear and putting it beyond Chevalier normal service is very much resumed for Paris Saint-Germain look at this two against one he could not care a jot well Lille could have been one up maybe go back to the 11th of January for his last clean sheet the other end, they score goals with regularity, and they've. Oh, well, the ball's gone in. How did it come out of the possession of the goalkeeper? Neymar doesn't care, and it's 2 0. Looked as though Chevalier had it, but it spilled from his grasp. And Neymar says, Thank you very much indeed. And Lille are on the way to another hammering, perhaps, here. Well, how does this escape from Chevalier? As the ball comes in, he blocks the ball from Vitinha and it just pops up to Neymar. I suppose he's unlucky. There's not much that could have gone more wrong than Haston in the opening 19 minutes here. And they've got another player down injured. The referee has decided to halt it. Chances already, and they might have another one. Terrific save again by Donnarumma. Well, I think Jonathan David thought that that was it. He beats the floor in frustration that it isn't 2 1. He couldn't have done much more with the header. What can Neil do here? They can score! And they are the scorers of the game's third goal. Turned in by Diakite. Can't say Lille haven't deserved that. Paris Saint-Germain have been indebted to their goalkeeper today, but he could do nothing to stop Diakite. 
as this ball driven into the area. Diakite definitely onside, glances it beyond Donnarumma. It is his first goal for Lille, and indeed his first goal in more than three years for anyone. This is good football though from Lille, brilliant football, and was that a penalty? Yes, no. Thought he was pointing to the spot. Paris Saint-Germain thought they were too, but actually he's given it the other way, Willy de la Jour. The Lille players are incensed, they think that's a penalty. They think that the challenge just here from Nuno Mendes is a penalty. And I'll tell you what, they've got a case. It's a Willy de la Jour. On the cross allows Donnarumma to gather it here. And David, he's done well, but uh, so too did Kimpembe. The twist and turn from Jonathan David. Good block by Leal again. Was a, a wild block. Onto it. And Neymar. And Messi trying to find Mbappe. Mbappe still trying to wriggle clear. That's nicely worked again. Blocked. Ramos. Well, two goals from Mbappe and Neymar. Threatened to swamp Lille, but they've more. Very important saves. So every reason to feel that this could be a thoroughly watchable second half as the sun has peeked out from the clouds and is bathing the beginning second 45 and Lille straight into the attack of Jonathan David there and then the shot from distance goes over the bar but uh, Weyer turns away disappointed Nico, Wren and Lons the home draw with Rans he's taken a whack Benjamin Andre. He doesn't believe it's uh, worthy of a caution. It's immediately signalled for. Want him to come off on the stretcher. His frustration apparent and understandable. They've lost Nuno Mendes to injury. They've now lost Neymar to injury. Has he just beaten to it? Low shot gathered by Chevalier. Mbappe whipping it in at pace. Gets it back, Mbappe. Penalty, I think he has. He's given a penalty. Well, Verratti got booked, and Lille have a penalty. Well, there weren't too many Lille players who were asking for it. David keep his composure. And he's already missed from the spot this season. And he's not missed this one, and it's Paris Saint-Germain 2, Lille 2. And Jonathan David has completed the comeback, and it's difficult to make a case that Lille haven't deserved it. It was a generous penalty award of that. Back to 2-2, and Lille looking for a third here. And at the end of that game, Lons against Nantes. Also on three on, at four o'clock. And then tonight we've got Toulouse against Marseille, 7.30 on two. Who knows whether Marseille might be able to close the gap. Well, Bamba has made that possible because he has turned this match completely around and Lille now lead. You cannot believe this game. 2-0 up Paris Saint-Germain. And he can't quite fathom what he's witnessing from his colleagues because Bamba has one of the substitutes has already come on and he shot his straight Bamba who's scored already 
away, but not too far. Messi tries to get to it, claims a handball in the midst of all of that. Two or three Paris Saint-Germain players jump an equaliser with Messi. Can't find a way through, tried to do too much, but then again, it's Messi. Why wouldn't he try himself? And then the shot saved to deny Bernat. Messi tries. Here's Messi. Is the flag up? No, it's not. Mbappe straight at Chevalier. He's furious that he couldn't find the net. Gets the return. He's in there to clear. Mbappe! 3 3. If you create the chances, you know that Mbappe will finish them off. Donnarumma punches the sky. And he wants the ball back on the centre spot because he thinks Paris Saint Germain can go and win this game now. Juan Bernat did the hard work down the left. Mbappe finishing it off for his. Messi wants it. Here is Messi, he's fouled. Free kick on the edge of the D. Another yellow card. Andre. And a free kick. Can he win it for Paris Saint-Germain? He can! What an extraordinary match! It ends one way, it flows the other, and then it has its conclusion, scored in stoppage time by the greatest player that's ever lived. Lionel Messi with a thrilling, thrilling finish to a quite stunning game of football. He's not really had much of a say in this game, Lionel Messi. He's not really had much of an influence in the second half, but he won the free kick. And then he converted the free kick off the inside of the post. There is no player you would rather have in that position than Lionel Messi. And with the game against Paris Saint-Germain just a few minutes earlier, it is now in their grasp. Mbappe made it 3-3 in the 86th minute. When the fourth official raised seven minutes on the board, the whole of the Parc de France went to their feet in excitement. They felt that there was a winning goal in the offing. And who else to provide it than the great man? The side are on the cusp of quite an extraordinary win. And the greatest player we have ever witnessed has provided the kind of finish that this game has merited.